Hi guys, <clears throat> welcome to the 12th and final month of my creative year 2020. Now, I don't know if you can tell by looking at the piece of artwork in front of you what our color theme is for the month. Can you guess? You got it, we're gonna be working with cool colors. So this portrait, which I fully intend sometime soon, hopefully, to uh, recreate an impression of in slow stitching, which is another whole like project that'll be on YouTube. But anyway, I created this a few years ago on a black gessoed playing card. She is one of my favorite pieces of artwork I've made, and she is strictly done in shades of blue on the black background. There's no other colors here, just black and shades of blue. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, it's one particular shade of blue, um, which is this color mixed with a little bit of white. And then I think there might be a little bit of Payne's gray in here, um, but just shades of blue. I made it in 2018. I really want to encourage you all with this month's prompt or the other prior prompts with regards to color. To, the main thing you should get out of this year is to play and experiment. Uh, really challenge yourself going forward to try something new. Try something you haven't done before. Whether it's trying to do a drawing every day or it's creating a journal page and very strictly limiting your colors to, you know, shades of blue, purple, um, some shades of green. When you look at a color wheel, why do I not have one over here? Yes, I do too. Okay, so when you look at your color wheel, it's almost clearly delineated between warm colors on one side. There we go. Colors that evoke the uh, suggestion of lightness, brightness, and warmth, right? And then cool colors. Colors that suggest coolness, dark, shadow. It's really fun to create pieces of artwork and very much limit your um, choices of color to cool or bright, or to create a piece of artwork like a portrait with cool and bright as the focus and very much trying not to use, in this case, which I did use black or white to use instead when you want to create a shadow, use one of these cool colors or when you want to create the highlight to create a warm color, to use a warm color. So I really want to encourage you this month to keep the cool colors in mind when you're creating your work. I would love to see what you do and what you're sharing here in the group. I do have a special project that I'm going to be sharing across most of my platforms um, in part. I will probably save the full tutorials for Patreon. You here in my creative year will get um, a little more instruction. The YouTube people are probably just going to get a speed through. I'm, I'm cringing, you can't see me, but I'm cringing. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, I don't have all the details worked out in my head. Um, but I will be using um, cool colors predominantly, not completely, but predominantly in this project. What is the project? I'm gonna tell you right now. So, this is my basket. So I had the idea recently that you know, and it was in part um, spurred on by the idea around the world that we can't really celebrate our holidays this year the way we're used to doing it uh, because of the pandemic. So I know and have heard the term December daily for years um, since I've been doing paper crafting. I, to be honest with you, don't really know what it is because I don't know that I've ever watched any videos on it or done any extensive research on it, although I did recently join a December Daily uh, Facebook group, but I don't, I haven't really looked at it. My idea, of course, is not to do a daily December journal uh, um, sharing photos of family and holiday celebrations and Christmas trees for a couple of different reasons. One, because we're not going to really have any of that. Two, fun fact about me, I really don't like Christmas crafts. <laughs> Probably because I did a lot of arts and craft shows over the years and 
um, sold a lot of Christmas crafts over the years and probably OD'd on it and they're kind of really not my thing. Um, but what I did think we could do is do a daily journal for December and for lack of a better term we will call it a um, um, December daily um, and instead of focusing on specifically um, winter holidays or Christmas or Hanukkah whichever one that you celebrate and the family and friends that we cannot see and the things we cannot do that we would try to take more of a positive spin and approach and that we would focus on the bright spots in the darkness if you will and we will be putting like a to-do list for instance I have a little here I happen to have this little sticky notepad that I'll be using and on our to-do list instead of gift uh, wrapping and um, you know putting up the Christmas tree and you know making eggnog um, we, yes we make homemade eggnog that's another story but anyway it'll have things like breathe listen speak and be heard um, and we will be gluing this into our journal on our page and doing something around this. We'll be pulling positive affirmation words from our bowl and we will be sticking them in our journal. I will be putting some Christmas paper and um, washi tapes and stuff in it. I do have a few that I've ordered special for this project um, that are on the way in and I have one pad of paper here. I also will be putting the Christmas cross stitch bunny that I recently finished on the cover. Um, but the focus won't be traditional Christmas because we're not going to have one, but it will be trying to make the best of the current situation and trying to work through that. And I hope that you choose to join me in whatever form or fashion. Those videos will be coming and I will be sharing the links as are available here in the My Creative Year Facebook group. So that being said, get ready for December. It's going to be a fun one. We have um, another word list which I'll be posting in a bit and uh, we are going to make the best of it aren't we? All right that's it and uh, just to give you guys a heads up for 2021 I am getting ready as you can see by this here. Um, we will be going forward with my creative year for 2021 in fact all of the word lists and monthly themes are already done and completed so we are ready to share those on January 1st. Um, I did recently find um, this uh, this is from AliExpress. It's a little miniature calendar. It's not a sticky notepad. It's just regular pieces of paper and it has doesn't have it has the year It does have the year on it, but it's really small and you could actually cut it off um, But it has the each one is a separate date and I'm going to be using this these in my daily journals I can just rip one off and glue it down into my journal. I love that. I love the idea behind this um, I could have probably just printed something up and made my own, but um, it's easier to just buy one. So anyway, AliExpress. If anybody wants a link, and um, let me know. Tag me in a post in the um, in the group, and I will see if I can find you a link. But I found it on AliExpress. You probably can find it on Wish. It'll take a few weeks to get to you. Um, I don't know where else you're going to be able to find them. It's really, really teeny. Uh, it is... about one and a half inches ish by two. So it's small. Anyway, that's it for the minute. I hope you guys are having a, um, a good week, a good day. Stay safe, stay creative, um, stay healthy. Please share your work in the group, and if you have questions, comments, or concerns, tag me or one of the admins. Um, I never expected when I created this group a couple of years ago that it would be something I'm, I'm still doing, <laughs> to be honest with you. And when I originally had the idea for this group, it was an additional project over in A Life of Art and Self-Expression, my other group. So I am very pleased to have you all here and joining me, and I hope we can go forward and share projects and share, share ideas. I will bring you monthly themes and words and try to encourage you to be creative on a regular daily basis and um, bring you content that's only here in my creative year um, in some form or fashion. If you have something you'd like to see, again, tag me in a post or send me a private message. That's it for right now. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later. Bye guys.